In Injustice 2, the roster is essentially the equivalent of what the collection was in Injustice yeah. 1. But there's a lot of kind of built-in uh, functionality within the roster that we need to discuss that's different from Injustice 1. Or just 1. even the cards, right? To me, the yeah. biggest difference in Injustice 2 is the threat level. Um, whatever way that they use to calculate it. It wouldn't surprise me if Injustice 1 did something that's similar, but never as transparently. Yeah, so you can see, you can sort by a bunch of different stuff, but threat value is the kind of main determinant sorting factor. That right, it's the default game. one. Yeah. So each card shows the level, uh, top left corner, the number of stars, which is like the previous Injustice 1's promotion level. Yeah, threat level right underneath the name, and then it also shows a class. Right, so boots for agility, which has an advantage over metahuman. Fist is for might, which has an advantage over agility. Mm -hmm. uh, I think that's a computer chip for tech class, advantage over might. And a stylized atom for metahuman, advantage over tech. So it's like Pokemon. Or rock, paper, scissors, lizard, Spock, but yeah. you know, missing lizard or Spock. And then there's that eye with like a triangle in the middle shape. Uh, or a and, pyramid. And the eye in the starburst. Yeah. For arcane, which seems to be free of any weaknesses, but also lacking any advantage over another class. So you've got silver, gold, and legendary types. Uh, for the characters that you don't have, you can see how many more shards you need to get them, and the, their cards are grayed out. And the when their model looks a little bit funky, right? Like yeah, it's sort it looks of all pixelated, like it's a simulation. Look, or a hologram. zero out of four hundred fifty shards. So for characters you don't have, you can see how many more shards you need to get them. Mm -hmm. All right, and here's where it's a big hot mess. You get characters by getting enough of that specific character's hero shards. It's also a way that you can promote them up to star level. So getting from two star to three star. 80 shards. Yeah, and we've got 75 out of 80. You can see in the bottom left right now, uh, that shows you that Heroic Campaign Mode Chapter 1 is the area that you can get the shards for that specific character. And it's a chance at it, but not all of them. All right, so each character now has uh, talents that will cost you money to unlock, and then more slots are available as you get them better. Yeah, and they're basically like built-in gear, like built-in weaker gear. And so you can see we just bought two. These are common. You can re-roll one for free per character per day and select it just like this. And then afterwards, um, each day you can re-roll one for free and then after that it'll cost. And we've seen three different levels. So there's the common, there's rare, and there's epic. So I think yeah. Harley Quinn's got a few. Yeah, so she's, she's got two rare and an epic. So it's the same abilities, but just better numbers. Yeah, and it does let you keep the old one and pick a new one so it, you can still re-roll ones even if you've got rare ones right, yes. right now. So you don't have to get rid of it. You can just re-roll yeah. if it's not what you want. Because that would then be so crappy it. if you had to get yeah. rid of it. All right. But under abilities... What we've got is the old passive and the specials. And it says passive under the passive, um, but you can actually upgrade it and upgrade it at different levels, and then you can see the specials, and those are at level right. one on and Scarecrow. that all costs credits. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's a little bit ridiculous that... Um, so let's re-roll him. It's a little bit ridiculous that there's so many currency levels, but you actually buy credits with gems. Mm -hmm. I, what was the point? You know what I mean? Like, it's, uh, there's almost no need. So there's a bunch more stuff now. There's... Yeah, and it, here's the thing. It's getting more expensive. You see, the the cost of each upgrade is increasing as we do it. Yeah, and the price is actually pretty high, inherently. Yeah. So on the stat sheet, you can actually see all the uh, abilities, including gear and talents. They're all accounted for in the stats. So they go up, and as you improve them, the threat level goes up, too. Yeah. Um... So we should probably talk a little bit about the gears. Mm -hmm. So the, you get multiple gears. They are specific to the character. So in order to get all the gears for character, you have to get really lucky and get them all five separately. You yeah. can't actually reassign a gear to even different skins. So you can see the price for shattering and the price for leveling them up are actually the same. Mm -hmm. uh, so if it costs 20 to level it up, it you get 20 from shattering it at whatever level, it, uh, for, at level one in this right. case. And it doesn't automatic, even though it's specific to the character and, and nobody else, you, they don't... Uh, automatically equip it. It right. sits there and you have to equip it manually. And you can see, you could see it was grayed out. It actually doesn't let you shatter gear that you have equipped, which is good. So each piece of gear... Um, has a chance effect, and they'll unlock at gear level 5 for one and level 20 for another two. And 40 for the third one. And those are essentially the same thing as the character random effects, or similar things anyways. Right. We can't say they're exactly the same, but uh, it's the same basic idea. Right. And borrowing from the idea of the legendary gears you can get in Survivor, there's a gear set bonus, uh, depending on whether you have two 
or three or all five pieces. But there are no general gear. So here we've got a gear uh, set enough for the, the whole... The bonus plus yeah. they're high enough level. Let's take a look at the chance effect because the chance effect is already unlocked. This was the Harley Quinn that you could buy in the store originally and you would get her with all five pieces of gear all at level five. Mm -hmm. And you can see once we've equipped it, her threat level goes up. So, so we'll take a look quickly at the random effects. So that's maybe. different from Injustice 1, right? Injustice 1, I think, with the matchmaking, it didn't take into account gear. Here, her stats are, are, are increased based on that, and the threat level is increased, so that's going to affect your matchmaking. So it's not really a huge advantage unless you specifically unbalance her and pick yeah, the Yeah, it specific... makes your character better, yeah. but it doesn't actually give you better matchings. Yeah. So there we go. And you can see on her card, actually, there's not a particular fight where you can get more so shards. So there's a random effect. Uh, it's plus 4.5%. Oh, no, so that was a base effect. Base, and the chance effect is the critical attack damage. And there's that green symbol, uh, a token that looks like a, an anvil, I think. I think that's what it's right. like Right, and, and it's something that you can get from daily objectives. There's and that's, how, yeah, it lets you re-roll the chance effect. So you can see each gear has a base effect a chance effect and they're also gear set bonuses so it's it's all really kind of scattered across a bunch of different stuff what yeah. gear actually does yep and it's a lot less kind of cool to have an individual gear because it's only one part on one character so there's a huge increase in complexity for each character on a roster but there's a huge decrease in how good it feels to actually collect stuff yeah because there's just so much more to do it's not just that it's more complex and there's more to plan it's actually harder to get like it's yeah the more there is the hard it's the harder to get and we're just you're gonna be struggling for a long time to try to get everything that you want yeah. for this character mm -hmm. and you yeah so there's a spot where you would normally see if that character was available their shards were available but so look it looks like there's no way to get shards we need 200 yeah of hers i'm sure there's just gonna be an event one more level yeah there's gonna be events later but man that's gonna be real hard and expensive yeah um We'll take a look. We've just actually satisfied a few objectives. Let's take a look and see where we can get that little anvil. Yeah, try to show that off. So there we go. Uh, that gear upgrades. So it makes a lot of sense if you're okay. going to upgrade any gears to spread it out and not do it all at once because the more times you do it, the more chances you'll get to reroll the chance effect of each piece of gear. Mm -hmm. So there we go. Next up, we have autoplay.